It's Trixie and when you start learning a foreign language what you begin with is the basic grammar structure and you know the normal vocabulary to get along and as the time passes by you dig deeper and deeper into the language learn about its structure the grammar more words and more phrases but even if you become fluent in this foreign language at some point you'll still miss out on some parts about it, you know, these parts that you cannot find in books or that no teacher tells you about. Let's call it the native speaker slang level, the bottom of the foreign language iceberg that only native speakers know because they grew up with it. Silly phrases, weird words and terms, the daily life German things. But don't worry because you have me. Today I am going to teach you 20 German insider terms that you cannot find in any book. Learn something new and surprise all your German friends with some German slang they would not expect from you. Ready for some weird German slang? Then here we go. I guess many of you will agree when I say that the last zip of a drink doesn't taste as good as the rest of it. In Germany, some people refer to this last zip of a drink as der Uwe, which means unten wird's eklig. On the bottom it's getting nasty. I am German and I've never heard about that. Trixie, you're telling them bullshit. Of course, not every single German knows the terms I'm going to present to you today. So hold your horses, that's normal. It depends on the region that you grew up in or the social environment. So. You know, it's fine, it's, it's fine. Sometimes when you are wearing a really fluffy pullover, you can get some of the fabric off with your fingers like that. And this little ball of fur that you then have in your hand, this little bit of fluff and fuzz, that's called der Fussel in German. Oh, you mean this weird stuff that you find in your belly button sometimes? I've heard that this happens to some people, yes. If somebody slaps another person's face, then you can call this eine Ohrfeige in German, which translates to an ear fig. You know, fig as in the fruit that a cactus bears. The person that received the Ohrfeige may get a black eye from that. In German, it's called das blaue Auge, so it's the blue eye, or das Feilchen, the violet. I think I don't have to explain why. Some people, including me, refer to their biggest toe as der große Onkel, the tall or big uncle. If you tickle somebody, then Germans usually say kille, kille, kille. The next thing may be a little bit offensive for the people being called that way, so I apologize in advance, but the names Kevin and Jacqueline have a little bit of history in German. Many times when German comedians make fun of, you know, really annoying asshole kids, then they are usually called Kevin or Jacqueline in their stories. It's a little bit like Kevin and Jacqueline are the default asshole kid names in German comedy. So sorry from my side, even though it's not my fault. If you're called Kevin or Jacqueline, you can maybe leave a comment whether or not you think that's true, if it's difficult to live in Germany with your name or if you have encountered fun jokes and all this stuff already. If you're getting a slight electric shock by, let's say, fixing your broken microwave you can call this einen gewischt kriegen in German, which means to get one wiped. When Germans are about to have a really nice meal, they say guten Appetit. I'm sure that you already knew that. But what you can say in addition is guten Appetit und Piep or guten Appetit, wir haben uns alle lieb, which means good appetite and peep or good appetite, we love each other. From time to time, Germans also feel like eating fast food. Where do they go? Let's say McDonald's. Wouldn't it be boring to call this restaurant by its original name? Why not use some German slang language? Because Germans like to refer to McDonald's as McDoof, McStupid or Meckes. Let's imagine we have beautiful weather and we're next to a swimming pool and we want to dive into the cold, refreshing water. How would you like to jump in? What's your swimming pool style? If you dive in head first, then you can call this der Köppe in German. But if you prefer to go, you know, butt first, then you can call it die Arschbombe. This means that you take a running jump towards the swimming pool, that you hug your legs, your knees in the air and then land in the water with your butt first. Let's say you feel like a little snack. What about peanuts or raisins or almonds or 
What about all of that in one bag? Do you like the idea of all in one? Then you should go for Studentenfutter, student food. To express that you're about to take the dog for a walk, you can say Ich gehe mit dem Hund Gassi in German. Gassi? Well, I had to Google that myself because I had no clue what Gassi is, and apparently it derives from the Gasse, which is a small narrow path, normally with cobblestone, and this is where people used to take their dogs for a walk to, you know, do their business. So it means something like in die Gasse gehen, which then became Gassi gehen. Sometimes parents already have a couple of children, and then after a long time they decide, hey, Let's have another one, a last one. Or something breaks or slips or whatever. As a result, the former teenage or even adult kids suddenly have a teeny tiny baby brother or sister. In German, this delayed sibling or youngest of the family can be called Nesthäckchen, little nest hook. When men get older, some of them start losing their hair. Some lose all of it, and others just lose it in parts. You may have seen it already, some men have all their hair left, except for this triangle here. And if you have this kind of hair, then you have Geheimratsecken, secret council corners. I guess it's because it gives you this intelligent, wise, aging man kind of look. I actually think it's pretty attractive. When Germans feel like eating fries with ketchup and mayonnaise, they can ask for a Pommes Rot Weiss, and normally people know what is meant. Hey Manfred, einmal Pommes Rot Weiss bitte! It simply means fries red white, but you can also say Pommes Schranke, fries barrier? Well, the barrier part is not all nonsense. In Germany, most of the barriers, for example at a railroad crossing, are red and white. So, yep, there we have it again, red and white fries with ketchup and mayonnaise. Hey money, I'm a pommes schranke. If for example your coffee is empty, you don't have to say der Kaffee ist leer. You can also say the coffee is all, der Kaffee ist alle. Actually, I think I use alle way more often than leer. So yeah, maybe that's something that you can learn from this video and use alle from time to time. Your German friends will be proud of you. If you see a very bright and shiny, let's say green color, so shiny that it almost hurts your eyes, you can call it quietschgrün in German. You can also use this for other colors like quietschrot or quietschgelb. When you are really, like really, really hungry, hungry in a way that you don't know what to do anymore, you can say ich habe Kohldampf. I have coal steam. Use this word and everyone around you will know it's urgent. Talking about food, there are some people that mostly live by candy. They love chocolate and cookies and lollipops and they cannot get enough of that. If you know a person like that, you can call him or her eine Naschkatze. A snack cat. All right, rabbits, 20 epic German slang terms and phrases. Did you learn something new? Did you know the slang terms if you are German? I can tell you that this was just the top of the iceberg and that there are plenty more of these words and phrases. So if you want to have another video on this topic, just let me know in the comments. Also, if you know more German slang or slang of the language that you speak, then please let us know as well. I really hope that you had fun with the video, that it was both entertaining and educational if so, please leave a thumbs up because that would make me really happy. If you want to see another video of Don't Trust Rabbit, you can find one right here. You can also follow me on Twitter, Facebook and Instagram or even support me on Patreon. I would appreciate that a lot and it would be a great help for the channel. Now there's only one last thing to say. I wish you all a very beautiful day. Check out my other videos if you'd like to and hopefully we are going to see each other in my next video. Bye!